Well, Hot Squad, what is happening? Happy New Year. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. We're finally here, y'all, 2023. I know, obviously, 2023 started about last, you know, a few days ago, but overall, I want to say Happy New Year. I know I got a chance to do reaction, my last reactions of last year, last week, because I just had time. You know, I was so busy trying to get ready for New Year. And we're finally here. It's been a long time coming. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. So, whoo, Hot Squad. Man, man, oh, man. I am so excited to get through this year for a bunch of reactions. Uh, for the people who've been subscribing to me, my 145 subscribers, thank y'all so much. First of all, I thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. Y'all awesome. I really, honestly, I didn't believe how far I got with reactions. I really did. And, you know, Hogwarts news and whatnot. But I, it's just like, dang, man. I've never thought about doing reactions, to be honest, like growing up. But you know what? I love it. It's fun. It is very, absolutely fun. So, yes, Hot Squad, I'm back with another new week of reactions. And, by the way, like I said, if you haven't seen my last videos, my new scheduling for re um, weekly reactions will be Wednesday and Thursdays and mostly sometimes the weekends. It depends. If I don't do it Wednesday or Thursdays, I will do it most in the weekends. So please watch out for my reactions at the weekend. So I will be doing that at that time. So yes, Hot Squad, we're going to do a, the newest reaction of 2023. And that is the Mission Impossible Dead Regular Part 1 Tom Cruise stunts. So I know this came out a couple weeks ago, but I got a chance to react to it. And also, but the movie itself comes out in just July, I believe. Yeah, in July, the summertime, which I am absolutely excited for. And it's like, dang, man, we're already here, man. This year is going to be stacked, and I mean absolutely stacked with movies, and of course video games, yes, obviously, but yes, it's going to be stacked with movies, man, and I definitely, definitely doubt for it. So, Hot Squad, we're further ado, let's jump right into it, shall we? The Mission Impossible Director Part 1, Tom Cruise stunts, one of the most insane stunts in movie history, so I think I say so, let's check it out. Things are going to get crazy. And now, our feature presentation. This is far and away the most dangerous thing we've ever attempted. Wow. <laughs> we've been working on this for years. We're going to shoot it in Norway, and it'll be a motorcycle jump off a cliff into a base jump. Wow. I've wanted to do it since I was a little kid. It all comes down to one thing the audience. <laughs> Oh my god. Tom, man. There's a lot going into this stunt. So Tom put together this master plan to coordinate all of these experts in each of the particular disciplines involved to make this whole thing happen. John and I are jumping out of the helicopter. He's going to chase me. That's what we say to each other. Don't be careful. Be confident. Be confident. A year of base training, advanced skydive training, a lot of canopy skills, a lot of tracking. Tom Cruise, he's an amazing individual. You tell him something and he just locks it in. His sense of spatial awareness, he's the most aware person I've ever met. Yeah, why? Lots of practice on stability and free fall. Tracking with John and Miles in the air, doing lots of different positioning, like they're a two-man team in the air, coming on top of each other, below each other, backtracking, front tracking. You know, we've drilled and drilled and drilled. When you do a lot of jumps back to back, the canopy control skills improve a lot. We have three open canopies, which is a good thing. The training's gone really well. It's progressive massively. Hey, McHugh. How are you? Great day, man. This is the next part of training right here, the motocross. Let's do it. Yeah, man. 60 years so old. built a motocross track. 60 years he's old, man. In the motocross, so he's comfortably jumping 70, 80 foot tabletops. Great nah, time, nah. great positioning on the bike, landing well. I have to get so good at this that there's just no way that I miss my marks. That's good. Come a little closer to me. Coming up with the stunt is only one of the technical challenges. The other is putting a camera in a place that you can see where Tom is doing it. Finding the right lens, the right platform, the right medium. Even two years ago, the cameras didn't exist that would allow us to do what we're trying to do today. How do we involve the audience? I just want to give them that thrill. That means the camera has to be in front of Tom and as close to him as possible. It feels like you're going over the camera. Yes, it's very cool. You train and drill every little aspect over and over and over and over again. Mm. They were doing 30 jumps 
a day. Wow. Came to a point where he was just a machine. I mean, over 500 skydives. Oh, wow. That's what we do. Damn, over 13,000 motocross jumps. Wow. Oh, it's going to be fun. Oh, it's great. Mm -hmm. Replicated this ramp in England at a quarry. We filled the quarry with cardboard boxes, which were there to catch the motorcycle. And the reason why we did that is so that Tom could simulate the jump. How fast should I go off? What distance do I travel? We built models of different ramps at different angles to calculate what Tom's trajectory would be. We have to be able to consistently predict where Tom is going to be in three-dimensional space. We're gonna have a GPS chip on me. And that recorded every single one of Tom's jumps, along with his ground speed, whether there was a headwind, whether there was a crosswind. And by doing this multiple times, we were able to get a consistent set of data. So that each take, we can see what height I am. So this way we can set drones and cameras in places where I can go right into close-up. Rule one. Don't, don't hit me with the drone. <laughs> because if we do it all, we don't capture it right. What's the point? Let's do it, guys. Ready? Yep. Always wear my earplugs so I don't hear myself scream. <laughs> <laughs> we are yes. ready, ready. That's the... Oh my the God. He is me hitting certain speeds and being consistent with that. There's no speedometer, so I do it by sound and feel of the bike. And then as I depart the bike, I'm using the wind that's hitting me here, and I'm cupping my chest. That will give me lift. Mm. Wow. Thank you all very much Thank for you. your help, guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I can't imagine how this stuff will be in this movie. I can't imagine. It's going to be instead. We're here in Norway. We've been constructing this ramp over a number of months. Everything here has to be brought in by helicopter. Mm. Engineers and technicians. It's incredible what they've done. This is masterful. Today is day one of principal photography, and we are starting in classic mission form with the biggest stunt in the film. What we're doing here is I'm just doing jumps just to warm up the body. Let's do it just to get my tracking going and make sure everything's working all right. I'm trying not to smile. Basically, when he gets down and puts a parachute on and goes and does the uh, bike jump, he'll actually know the weather conditions in this area, in the valley, and on the ground. Oh my God. Yo. And then he has to safely deploy a parachute. Yo. Now he's in a rock bowl with walls all around him, and he's got to fly out of it. God. He was crazy, but he is a legend. Man. Of course, you know, when something's been done for the first time, you can't help but worry a little bit about how it's really going to turn out. With a jump like this, the challenge is finding the cameras, it's the amount of preparation, and then it's weather. You want the light to be right, you want the clouds to be right. Misty, but not foggy. This weather right here is exactly what we're looking for. Hmm. He is about 10 minutes away from coming up here, landing and doing the actual sun. Sounds good. We're in motion. See you soon. Now we're going to set the frames of this camera ship with the drone just to verify everything, then we're going to get ready. You know, the only things you really have to avoid while doing a stunt like this is uh, serious injury or death. Here we go. You're riding a motorcycle, which is pretty dangerous, on top yeah, of no a ramp that's elevated off the ground. So if you come off the ramp, that's going to be very bad. You're falling. If you don't get a clean exit from the bike and you get tangled up with it, if you don't open your parachute, you're not going to make it. Yeah. Oh boy. This is gonna be a hell of an experience with the theaters, man. Cannot wait. I hope this makes a billion dollars. Wait, no wait, boy. My God, yo. Obviously, it's good. Pressure's good. He survives, obviously. Yeah, man. 
freaking day, Tom. See you guys. Thank you. Dr. Tom, that was absolutely beautiful. It's like nothing wrong. Yeah, right. I mean, your track was perfect. It was like it was it was great. <laughs> Thanks, man. man. I think I can hold to the bike a little longer. <laughs> Pretty much the biggest stunt in cinema history. <laughs> yeah, Tom I did. Cruise just rode a motorcycle off a cliff six times today. Six times, man. Man. Wow. This is far and away the most dangerous thing we've ever attempted. The only that thing run? that scares me more is what we have planned for Mission 8. Can't imagine. Not imagine. Damn, Chris from Rahori again. July 2023, hell yes. Woo, wow. Oh, freaking wow, dude. I am so excited for this. Oh, boy. Man. Chris from Record and Tom Cruise has been a team, has been a hell of a pair since um, Jack Reacher, man. You know, Chris from Corey knows how to make direct action movies. And thing is, he produced and wrote Top Gun Maverick. So, and he also won an Oscar for The Usual Suspects. And it's like, damn, dude. <laughs> this is going to be absolutely insane. I cannot wait to see this movie. Woo wee. Man, Tom, Tom Cruise is one hell of a guy, man. He's a freaking legend, six years old, doing these stunts to this day. To this day. And I am here for it. Yes. So I really hope this makes a billion dollars just like Taco Maverick did, man. Whew. I hope it does, man. I damn sure hope it does. Wow. Insanity. So there you have it, Hot Squad. That was my reaction of the Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Tom Cruise's biggest stunt in cinema history. Man, words can't describe how very excited to see is in theaters. I cannot I cannot wait, man. Seriously. You know, the Mission Possible movie's gotten better with Ghost Pro Call, no doubt about it. And I am definitely, definitely am so excited for this one. It's been since 2018 since Mission Possible Fallout has been released. And then, damn, dude. <laughs> damn. I can still imagine what the biggest scenes in the movie. It's just like, God almighty, man. You know, Tom Cruise, Chris McCoy has been a dream team, man. It's been a dream team with these action movies. And I love it. I freaking love it. So, yes, Hawk Squad. And also, by the way, Chris McCoy did recently produce um, Top Gun Maverick. And he wrote one of the writers of Top Gun Maverick. So, you know, this is going to be fire. This, this, this is going to be absolutely amazing. So, Hawk Squad, that's my reaction. My last reaction, actually, for today, for the weekend. And, yes, I know there's a bunch of new trailers just dropped in this week. I will do next week. So, please bear with me. So, Hawk Squad, that is my reaction of the Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Biggest stunt in cinema history by the legend self, Tom Cruise. If you like this reaction piece, hit the like button. Comment, scratch your thoughts. What's your favorite Mission Impossible movie? I know you're definitely excited to see this, so don't lie. I know you're very excited to see this. So, Hawk Squad, this is Taurus Hawk signing up for the weekend. I will see you all next week for hopefully more reactions as I am intent to schedule. So, Hawk Squad, stay fire in the sky. Have a great weekend, and peace out, and Happy New Year.